Hi there, Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. And I am currently doing this during the time of the new moon in the sign of Gemini. So the message that I am going to be sharing with you guys goes forth through the month of May. And it gives you a snapshot of information on what things um, might pan out for you due to the new moon and the sign of Gemini. So um, again, this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for the rest and everyone else. But please do know that this reading is for those who have their Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising sign all at the same time. Of course, for a personal and more detailed outlook on your own situation, um, you can only do that through a private session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. Now, let's go ahead and take a look on what's really going on for a lot of our Capricorn friends out there. I kind of feel that, um, you know, when I was tuning in and shuffling and laying out the cards, the first word that really came up to me is heaviness with the heart. There is some form of heaviness that you are feeling and it really shows with our spread right now. We do start with the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords all together. And this is clearly telling us that there is something that maybe you are very much contemplating about or maybe there is a burden that is in your mind at this time maybe you are at the time and period of a crossroads at this time um, something in your love life may be a bit unsettled or there could be something that is really bothering you whether whether it's about a relationship wherein nothing is happening or a relationship that is a little bit of a toxic side um, there is a form of energy here of unfortunate circumstances so it may not necessarily be you know something very negative it's just that you know you are more introspective at this time is basically what we are mainly seeing at the moment and it's not really that surprising because we do have Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn and Pluto in Capricorn all at the same time and they are all in retrograde motion and also we have uh, Saturn as well still in Aquarius but it's very near going forth to Capricorn energy so you are definitely being hit hard by this transit and the fact that it's all in retrograde it is making you more introspective and I really like and keep repeating this throughout on a lot of my readings and even in the past I really like how astrology and you know readings like this correlate to one another we're in it really gives us the energy of what is really unfolding from the sky and through how things are when we do monthly predictions like this so um, yeah what we're seeing here is that there is maybe something that is bothering you maybe you are reminiscing something it's like it has that feeling wherein you want to have fun you want to be happy there is something but there is something that is missing in your life it's like everything about you right now or in your love life feels as if they are not entirely happy ones you know and you are maybe missing the old days you are you know realizing something thinking about something or maybe you know thinking of of the things that did not work in the past or trying to find solutions and resolutions on what you can do to actually improve a certain situation in our near future position we do have the hermit card over here so it's still telling us that you know um, even though that the that, that we are in the Newman and Gemini season I kind of feel that it's not really about communication for many Capricorns out there it's really more on the ideas that you have the realization that you come across 
which is going to be playing a very important role to you because we do have the six of diamonds over here as well um in the gypsy card reading this is actually not a favorable card but the six of diamond essentially means that there is some form of unsettled energy you know it's a very nervous energy and it's a process where things are very slow so you are thinking of something maybe you are thinking of progressing on something maybe wanting to contact someone to to move forward take a certain advancement kind of action but with the hermit card over here i kind of feel that you know the movement and advancement that you maybe are wanting is not very much easily achieved you know something is very slow and if ever you get you know progress movement it is happening happening in a very internal level so it it makes us feel here that you are finally noticing the things that you have not noticed before maybe you did not have the time to really think about and reflect about things in the past and now um, you're actually you know you're finally having a reality check a second look on a situation that did not work out and um, it doesn't mean that you know it gives you any answers into things it does not mean that there is a concrete action concrete event that is going to be transpiring but the awareness and realization of your own thoughts and your own um, understanding into things is going to be what the progress is really all about you know that aha moment that that feeling that you finally know the reason why things that did not work out or maybe there are certain lessons that have happened in the past maybe some form of argument that um, made you lose touch with your partner or with a certain person in your life um, it has made you uh, realize certain things uh, I, I really cannot say what have you realized or not I can just say like the the blueprint of what this reading is telling us and what this reading is telling us is if you are really connected with this reading you will you will feel the energy wherein you are feeling burdened right now and really thinking being introspective and all of that thinking of what is wrong with how you do relationships you know it doesn't have even to be it doesn't have to be with someone in particular but maybe um you are now coming to a point wherein is there something wrong with me is there something wrong with how i handle relationships is there something wrong with my own relationships why they are not working out why everything is always a mess is it because of the other person or is it because of me what am i missing out here you know there, you are questioning a lot of things and at the same time you are you know if you have been too trusting in the past you are finally learning to hold back on that and you know trying to discern whether you should trust a person or not so um yeah um this is not a, a really you know happy and giddy type of situation for the month of may but this is a time wherein it's telling us that you need to really mature with how you handle relationships with how you should be in relationships so if you if you know there are a, a lot of times wherein people think that they are actually mature with how they handle relationships but then you know after you experience one um mishaps one after another you you come to realize that you know uh once you really become more mature you end up realizing that maybe you were not matured before with how you handle things maybe you act very rashly in certain areas of things and now is the time wherein you are you know this solitude moment this isolation or maybe the lockdown itself is um taking a toll on you uh, but at the same time it's giving you the chance to take notice things with your partner with your past lovers and things with yourself and how you handle things 
all at the same time and um, it's actually a very nice thing because because of the time of maybe oppression or conflict that you have experienced in the past you become more serious with how you deal with things you know not serious in a way that is very logical in all of that but it's really more an emotional growth with how you handle relationships and with this in line this can you know allow you to to correct things or at least in your mind you wanted to correct things you are you know having some form of ideas on what you should do what you what you should balance and rebalance in your life so that you can create a better form of new beginning onwards to a point wherein you know you can you will be able to trust your partner in the future and your partner will be able to give you their trust all at the same time so a lot of the scenario that can occur which is very unavoidable is that there could be some form of negative energy that you can also feel you know and i'm not trying to be negative here it's just that you know the energy here is a little bit very low and very cold so it's not a time of you know of warmth joy and happiness it's a time of seriousness and it's a time wherein it's all about your own responsibility you know being responsible with the partner you're with with some form of commitment that you made the promise to that kind of thing so especially if you have been quite flaky in the past or you had a relationship that was a little bit flaky that kind of scenario there's a lot of you know um things right now that can happen that can make you make you want to have that warm feeling of love again it's that point wherein if you feel that you your heart has been ice cold you are going to be longing for real love you know you are going to start noticing what emotions is really all about are they just really all fluff or do they have a real purpose for you you know is love really important to you or how you deal relationship is it important or not that kind of thing there's also like a karmic endeavor in the works here we're in you know if you have been trying to run away from something in the past this this is a time wherein you need to face certain things you need to come across and you know um it's like opening a lock chest a lock closet which you haven't been opening before or you it's like you you're locking things away deep within the core of you and this is the time to reopen them to to discover them anew and to find out what you should do about it it's like a decluttering phase that you are facing at this time in terms of your love life and relationships so um yeah uh i would say and i would assume that for a lot of capricorns out there there is not much communication or interactive scenario that's going to be happening but behind the scenes there are a lot of things that is going on a lot of downloads and psychic downloads maybe that you are going to be picking up and realizing and thinking about very much strongly so it's all about um, emotional maturity realization and growth and you know based on what you find out during this time this will help you with how you will be able to manage and to work with your future relationship onwards and it it, it can be with someone new or it could be with your current relationship you know it's at that point wherein something is about to happen with your own love life 
and it's going to be something serious and it's going to be something very important as well i kind of feel that you are at the at the point where in security and wanting to settle down is going to be very important to you and it takes a lot of consideration to work on on those things and it's going to be growth regardless of what you are going through right now so um yeah another way that this can happen is you know there a lot of you guys may be longing for someone in the past and you know um maybe having a lot of worries and fears you know why am i all alone that kind of thing so it could be a very an inactive month for some people also because it's a time where and you just want to be at home you you just want to be alone and you know you're thinking of someone but you don't really see something or anything happening which can be stressful one way or another and this will make you have another look on whether you should still be with this person or not whether the actions that you're taking the decisions that you're making is it the right thing or no or not Th those kinds of things i kind of feel that your security is going to be playing an important role you are going to take actions but not today not not this month but i kind of feel that based on the information the ideas and thoughts and downloads that will come across for the new moon and gemini you are going to be taking your action based on that and this time you are going to be more responsible with this not flaky you are going to be facing the adversities you know regardless the struggle to get to that goal and um yeah you are going to be much more determined um to work on things with solid ground you know you don't want to take any risk you want things surely slowly but surely so it's really a lot about finding out what you truly want and if there is any last look in the past that needs to be made you're going to be really focusing on that that kind of energy so um yeah this is quite of a serious month for a lot of capricorns out there but i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your own situation it is my hopes and dream that you know it can help you the readings that i do one way or another and remember all of this information comes in due time and you'll only really appreciate them once it really occurs for you so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys next month